I wanted to kind of talk about how to survive a long run on your treadmill. Sometimes it's really necessary. There could be scheduling things that come up, especially for me out here in Minnesota, weather is a big concern when it's icy and frozen and you know, 30 below. It's really not fun to go outside. So treadmill is kind of kind of the backup. And one of the things I've really found is you've gotta plan for your long run on the treadmill the same way you would plan for a long run outside. So whatever that is, if you do gels, if you do if you bring water, if you put on the body glide, think of kind of those things that whatever you do for the long run outside, you're gonna wanna have those things for your long run inside as well. You wanna kind of treat it like that. You also wanna take some time to think about what you'll be looking at. This is one of the few times I'm gonna actually recommend television. I'm not a big TV watcher, I'm not a big movie buff, but when it comes to being on the treadmill, I have to watch something, I have to have something to look at. Just like when I'm outside, I like to plan my route. Well, can't really plan a route on the treadmill, so instead I think of what am I gonna be looking at while I'm there. If I have to stare at the number and just how many miles I'm going or how long I've been going and keep thinking about that and looking at it, I'm gonna quit. It's happened so many times where I plan, I'm gonna do six miles on the treadmill, I'm gonna do eight miles and I just peter out because I'm staring at, okay, it's been 5.3 miles, it's been 5.4 miles, come on, 5.5, like it's just, it's too much. To have to look at that and it's really not motivating for me just for you awesome but it's not for me um, i like to find something that i'm really interested in whether it's a tv show that i have a few episodes of i can binge watch on netflix or hulu or a really good movie i mean for a long run you could be going for two two and a half hours you know however long that's not time to watch a movie the thing is to make sure that you have enough of whatever it is you need to get through the long run i've had it where i have maybe one episode and then i think well i'll figure it out after that it doesn't work i get distracted and then i want to quit so make sure you have enough of it so make sure you have a movie that's a run time longer than your run or about as long or that you have enough of your TV show to kind of keep you occupied and interested the whole time. Um, yesterday I did a 10.5 mile, two hour working on the treadmill and I watched two episodes of House of Cards. It worked out perfect and wasn't really too distracted or unmotivated. The other thing you wanna think about is possibly breaking it up. I think that if I go into a workout thinking I'm going to have to stay in the same place on a treadmill for two hours or one and a half, whatever it is or more, I say no thank you. That's too much time to be just sitting there doing that. So what I did yesterday is I broke it up into chunks. Two hours seemed like too long, but I said, you know what? I feel like I could do three 40 minute chunks or segments. And so I would go for 40 minutes, take a break, get Gatorade, get gel, um, run upstairs. I had my kids check on them. They were doing chores and, you know, playing with the dog and stuff. Just to make sure they're okay. Grab a quick drink, run back, jump down. It's a small little thing, but that one little chance, knowing that I can get off for a minute and get back on, those little breaks just made it much more manageable. So yes, I mean, when, from the time I got on and pushed the start button until the time I got off, that might've been a little bit more than the two hours just because of those little breaks. But to me, it was so much more worth it to have those breaks. It just made it a lot more manageable for me. I don't feel like it detracted from my long run just because I would usually take a couple walk breaks to get those gels or whatever in me anyway, so I don't feel like it took anything away from my actual workout. Yeah, so that's the treadmill. That's kind of how I do it, that's how I attack it. I will give you a little, um, I'll kind of show you what it looks like, how I set up my treadmill to make sure that I have everything I need after this, so right now. Okay, so here's my treadmill. And here's how I set up for the long run. So you can see I've got my phone and this is plugged in to the sound on my treadmill. So it's kind of nice to have that as an additional feature. I have gel. These are the actual water bottles that I put in my little holster when I run outside. And so I still have them. I just don't have to wear them on my body because I can have them here on the treadmill. So that's kind of nice. I also put um, Gatorade over here. It's also nice when you're on the treadmill you have to like plot where the restrooms are because you're in your house or your gym. So that's all kind of there and ready to go. Again, this is just how I set up. Hopefully um, some of this helps you and good luck on your next long run.